Hey there and welcome back to episode 4 of the 6 string series. Today I'm going to teach you a couple of chords. Before we go any further, make sure that your guitar is tuned. Here are a few things you need to keep in mind. The first thing is the strings. We are going to be numbering the strings to make it easier for you. The string at the bottom is string number 1. The string above that is string number 2. The string above that, string number 3. And then we have string number 4, string number 5 and string number 6. Each one of these blocks is known as a fret. So we have fret number 1, fret number 2, fret number 3 and so on. Also keep in mind that this is the index finger, this is the middle finger, this is the ring finger and this is the little finger. In order to tell you the placement of each chord, I'm going to start with the finger, then tell you the fret number and lastly the string number. Let's learn your first chord that is C major. Don't get too intimidated by the name, it's quite a simple chord. Starting off with your index finger, place it on the first fret of the second string. And this is how you place it. Make sure that you're putting enough pressure on the string. Also make sure that your finger is placed in the center of the fret as much as possible. Moving on to the next finger, take your middle finger and place it on the second fret fourth string like this. And lastly, take your ring finger and place it on the third fret fifth string like this. It might seem a little tricky at first but I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. So this is the position for the C major chord. And now let's test it out. Take your pick and play through all of the strings. And there you go. This is the C major chord played on your guitar. Did you get it right? Now let's go for the second chord. Make sure that your C major is still in place because I'm going to teach you a simple trick to change the chord. The second chord that I'll be teaching you is the F major 7 chord. Now there's a simple trick in order to get this chord. So since you're on C major, all you have to do is take your middle finger from the 4th string down to the 3rd string like this and then take your ring finger from the 5th string to the 4th string like this. And that's it. This is the F major 7 chord. Not that tricky, right? And once you've got the placement right, just take your pick and play through all of the strings like this. Great job! You've learned two chords. Stay tuned for the next episode to find out which song you can play with these two chords. If you're excited to learn more, sign up now on crack.ai and learn your first song in 20 minutes. Stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you.